Hello everyone, welcome to Internet DevOps channel. Today we are going to talk about how to set up SSH based authentication, then configure and manage your remote servers from the VS Code. Well, I actually use password based authentication to connect all my remote servers. As you know, it is very less secure and we need to enter the password every time. So in this video, I'll show you a quick and easy way to set up all these things from the scratch. So let's get started. Well, for this demonstration, I have installed Ubuntu VM on my laptop. We'll be running 22.04 LTS version and we will install the SSH server on this machine. So if you want to install the SSH, enter the command sudo apt install open ssh server. When we enter this command, it will install the required packages and automatically start the service. And we can also verify the service has been started by running the service command or you can run ssh-v command. So we got the open ssh running as you see on this machine. Next, we will connect the server from ssh client. And if you are running Windows, Linux or Mac OS, you have built-in ssh client software available. So for this demonstration, I will be using Windows 11 machine. So to connect the remote server, we will need to create ssh key pair first. So I will use a bash terminal for this and you can use tools like PowerShell. So on the terminal, type ssh-keygen-t to define the key type. We'll use RSA and the key length using hyphen B flag. So once we enter, it will start generating the ssh public and private key pairs. You can enter the path details if you want the key to be stored on a specific location. Otherwise, by default, it will be stored on .ssh folder under the home directory. Next, it will ask if you want to secure this key with a passphrase. I will say no then the key is generated. So if you go to the home directory, there is a folder called SSH. Now we have two keys over there. The private key, which we shouldn't give to anyone and the public key ending with .pub extension. So the next step would be to copy the public key to the remote window servers. So luckily there is a nice command we can use that is SSH-copy-id that will automatically find the SSH key from the local machine and push to the servers. So in our case, we have multiple keys. So I'm going to specify the key details and then the remote server and the IP details of the servers. So we need to give the password for one-time authentications. Once that is done, we can see that the key has been uploaded to the server successfully. We can also check the key details on the remote servers, which is stored in a file called authorized underscore keys under the SSH directory. So now we have the public key on the server and the private key stored on the SSH client, which is our Windows machine. So what we are going to do is we are going to test this access. We make sure that the SSH key pair is working fine using the SSH command. We can see that we have logged into the server successfully without any password. So we have done the first part. So in order to manage a bunch of servers, we need to use a client software that can manage all the servers together. So in this demo, we'll use the VS Code and we'll see how to update and configure the VS Code for the remote SSH access. All right, guys, let's flip our screen to the VS Code loaded on my Windows machine. First of all, we need to install the extension called Remote SSH, which is a lightweight VS Code extension from Microsoft. And click on Install. Once it is done, you will find an icon for SSH connectivity on the left hand side. Then click plus button to add new remote machine. So now we need to enter the SSH command, which is SSH space then the username at the rate server IP address or the host name. And we need to reload the VS code to reflect the updates. So let's use a shortcut, which is control shift P to see the different commands on the VS code and type reload over there. So after reload, you'll find a new host machine added to our SSH tab. Now we need to add few more details for this host machine to set up SSH access. So go to the configuration file here. So we already have the host name and the username details over there. Let's update the host details to a meaningful one. So we need to add the identity file locations where we need to provide the SSH private key path, which obviously stored on .ssh folder under the home directory. So update the path details in quotes. Then next for the identities only will give yes since we need only the SSH based authentication. 
last but not least for the port number we will give 22 in case of ssh so that's a minimum configuration required to set up ssh remote host so let's go ahead and reload the vs code again now we can see the remote underscore server underscore one has been updated under the ssh host details so let's try to connect to the current window by right clicking to that servers and it is trying to connect select the OS platform of the remote OS. In, in our case it is linux so now we have connected to the servers and we'll find a green icon over it let's also verify by running some commands so we can run ip address we see the remote ip address details let's send the release details also so we have successfully logged into our remote machines all right guys in this way we can add multiple remote hosts in just a couple of seconds i hope this video find it useful and thank you for watching and please do subscribe and hit the like button and i'm going to see you on the next one goodbye